everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing an updated what's on my phone video. I filmed this about three, four months ago when I first got the phone and a few people messaged me asking if I could do an updated version. And even though most of my apps are the same, I have played around with my widgets. I've changed my wallpaper and I've downloaded a few new apps. So I thought I'd show you guys anyway. I'll link below the one that I did at the end of last year in case you haven't seen it. And yeah, I won't go into as much detail as the last one on the apps because I've already done it. So I'll just show you guys a few widgets that I've downloaded and really been loving. And also people asked me how I changed the color of my always on display. So I'll show you that as well. I've moved to the side just so I can put the screen here. So I don't forget. <laughs> so before I turn on the recording, I'll just show you my wallpaper now because if I lock the phone, it stops. So that's my always on display. It's just a pink clock with the date and then my battery percentage. And then when you click the lock screen, my wallpaper is Darth Vader and it says, I am your wallpaper. And if you don't understand that, then we can't really be friends. Just saying. Let me start this recording. Da -da -da -da. I don't know what to do. Confirm, honey. And we're in. So this is my, how to flip. All right, I don't know how I moved that last time. I'll just put that in the top right corner. So this is my home screen. Oh, I didn't even show you guys my phone case. So this is my phone case, it's Star Wars. So it's got all the stormtroopers and then it's got Darth Vader in the middle. And my pop socket is a Star Wars one as well, just a Star Wars. And I got the pop, I got both of it, everything from eBay, I'll link it below. So, this is my home screen. I have the Death Star as my wallpaper. So I have like a Star Wars theme going on right now. And I'll start off on the left side of my phone. So if you swipe to the left, I have my calendar and I've maximized it. I've put it as the whole damn screen. Before I had it about halfway and then I had uh, a few apps, but I decided to get rid of that and I've just done this big boy calendar. So to get the calendar, if you didn't know, you just tap on the screen, go to widgets and then all the apps that you've downloaded that allow widgets or have a widget will come up here. So you've got contacts, Gmail, whatevs. So the calendar is that one and I've selected the month, the 555 and I've just expanded it. And to change um, the transparency, I suppose, you click on the settings button and then you can change it how you like. I've done it, you can do it black or white. I've done white and you can just drag it to how you like it and save. I picked that just so I can see my wallpaper. I think it's so cute. So yeah, that's my calendar. And down the bottom, I have phone messages. I've added my notes there, just so it's so easy for me to go straight into. Chrome and Play Store. Someone asked me in my last video, why I don't use Samsung internet? It's not that it's bad. I personally have never even used it. I'm just used to Chrome. So I downloaded Chrome straight away. Never used the other one, so that's why. So I have the time on the far right. I have my subscribers widget on the top left and I absolutely love this widget because if I wake up in the morning I can just unlock my phone and see how many subscribers I have and I'll show you guys how to get that one so the app that you actually need to download is this one subscribe count and you just search the channel or whatever if you want to just search anyone when you go back to the widgets page it will come up there see top right subscriber count so you just select it, you plop it where you want, and then you type in your YouTube name and it will come up as a widget. And I think it's really helpful. So beneath that I have the Star Wars app. And you can do selfies. You can change who you are. So you can be Jin Aracel. And you can also change the person in the background. You can do the lightsaber, you can change the background. Mm. So yeah, I think that's a really fun app. <laughs> and there's like Star Wars news and stuff as well. So yeah, I have my Google Home Bar still. And then the top right, I have my two, my mail apps, just so it's easy. Because if I had it in a folder, I'd probably forget to ever click on it and like never read my mail. So yeah, I have my Google Home Bar, which is I like having it across so I can click anywhere around that area and get it. So everything's the same here. So I have my Twitter, 
Facebook, Instagram, Snap, blah, blah, blah. my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and Snapchat, and that's all stayed the same. That's all stayed the same, and I'll put all my social media names down below if you want to follow me. I've got my Line Messenger, and I've got YouTube, of course. I've got YouTube Studio, Camera Gallery, Swipe. And then here are my folders. Some people might think this is messy. To me, this is quite organized. So I've got my, I'll start with my widget. I have the verse of the day that's from the Bible app. So each day, it refreshes and it gives you notification as well. You can also do the whole transparency thing with that. So the app that you need to get this widget is the Holy Bible app. And it looks like that. Oh. So you can read the Bible wherever you are. I've logged in for, I've logged in 64 days in a row. I've had this app for about a year, but I always had it on my iPad. But when it was on my iPad, I didn't really click on it, if I'm honest. So having it on my phone is very helpful. So top left, I have travel, I have Uber, bus times, train line, EasyJet, city mapper, and Appy Parking. Appy Parking is meant to be, it's meant to like tell you, if you type in whatever you are, it tells you what parking there is, like if it's free, how much you have to pay, how long for, disabled bays and things like that. I haven't actually tried it yet, so I don't know if it works, but if you struggle for parking, try the app. Uh, in my Grandia folder, I have Spare Room and Zoho CRM, it's for my estate agency. In Fitness, just got my Fitness Pal, my Pure Gym, because that's the gym I go to. And Samsung Health and Gym Workout. So, Gym Workout, I showed this on my S7 Edge video, but if you haven't seen it, I'll show you quickly. So, there's a guy here and he shows you the body. So, let's say you want to work on your, your chest, honey. It tells you what workouts to do. And then he shows you how to do it. Get it, bae. So if you want to do your ass, your gluteus maximus, he'll show you the best things to do. And I think it's really helpful. So check that shit out. And then shopping. I have eBay, Amazon, Depop, Deliveroo, Uber Eats, and Groupon. Um, eBay and Amazon are obviously the fucking go-tos. I go on Depop sometimes if... Just to check what they have. I also am selling some things as well, so I'll link my name below if you want to check out my style. And Deliveroo and Uber Eats is for food. And then Groupon is, you can just get deals for like spa days or meals. Look, you can get like tickets half price, food, there's clothes as well. So yeah, check it out. If you want to buy someone a gift, check it out. And then we have, other which i'm just lazy i just shove everything in there and followers just shows you who's unfollowed you on instagram these three bitches um you can make up is my editing app i went into that in my s7 edge video layout is just a collage app superheroes walls paper walls paper wallpapers it's just has really cool wallpapers so let's go to category and then let's check out if they have any Star Wars ones. Oh, stupid adverts, man. Actually, it's kind of a cute game. So here are all the Star Wars ones. So let's say we want Rey, who's my fave. You click on that plus and you can either set it directly as your wallpaper or save it or share it, whatever. But they're all really good quality. That is banging. So yeah, check that out. Headspace is like an anxiety app. It's um, like a meditation, I guess. I don't really know what to call it. Yeah, I haven't done it in a while, but if you get like anxious or something, then check that app out. Sleepo just has different sounds. So like, whatever relaxes you, whether it's a plane, a rain, a train, <laughs> it just has different noises to help relax you. So nature sounds, shit like that. It's quite good, it's a nice app. Unfollow Twitter just shit Unfollow Twitter just tells you anyone who's unfollowed you from Twitter, so don't follow to unfollow. Unum or unum. Everyone always talks about it, everyone always has it, so I downloaded it 
I haven't really used it but basically it just shows your Instagram feed and you can add a picture here without it going to Instagram just so you can see what it looks like next to your pictures or if you have like a theme or whatever. Um, Textgram you can just basically write your own text, make your own like quote pictures if that's your thing. Bisco I haven't used it but everyone talks about it again so I downloaded it but I haven't tried it yet, it's just a picture editing app. Pic Collage is dead as well, it's another... I'm just trying to find a good collage app people. Still ain't found one. Yelp! Everyone talks about Yelp. <laughs> so I thought maybe if I struggle to find somewhere to go for dinner or something, maybe I can check out Yelp or if someone pisses me off, I can put it... I can put it in there! And then three is my carry out and with three. So clock because I forget everything and I put everything as um, alarms. Settings, I will show you guys how to do the always on display. So I type in always on display because I'm lazy and I can't be bothered to scroll. You go to always on display, select the clock you like. I like this one because I think it's very clear. And then yeah, at the bottom it just says clock style, colour and background. So you click on colour and then that's it. You can pick the blue one, the white one, the yellow one. I picked pink, then you click on apply and then that's it, it's done. Easy peasy darling. And then I have maps in case I get lost. I have Facebook Messenger and then in fun I have creepy pasta, which is just scary stories. Choices, uh, you have your own like character or whatever and you can, it's a story and you can pick what happens next or it's like an option story, I don't know how to explain it. Buzzfeed, um, you can do like polls, quizzes, fun things. Fiverr, you know the Wonder Izzy banner that I have on my YouTube channel. I got that made on Fiverr, so it's very interesting. Bitmoji, honey, links to your Snapchat, so you have your own little character. Come like Lizzie McGuire. Reddit, I don't know how to use Reddit, but I downloaded it anyway. Pinterest, I... I haven't like shared my Pinterest because I don't go on it that much but my name is Wonder Izzy if you want to follow me and I just have like religious stuff, wallpapers, random things that I like, tattoos, superheroes, fitness, nails and phone cases. Xbox because I have an Xbox One and if you have an Xbox One, add me. My name is Izzy94x, so I-Z-I-94x, and yeah, it's changing my name costs like £9, I'm not paying, so that will be my name. And yeah, my wallpaper, my picture is Tomb Raider, and my theme is pink. But the, pic the games that I usually play are like, uh, Sims. I've just, I recently downloaded Tomb Raider like a few weeks ago, so I've been playing that. But I don't play a lot. I'm a busy girl. And then Twitch. I haven't posted any videos on Twitch myself, but it's just a gaming stream, a game streaming app. So you can watch other people play games. So I only follow three people. <laughs> I follow Momo Tokyo, my boyfriend and my sister. And then I have calculator because I suck at math. I have Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. I mean, I haven't played it recently because it got a bit repetitive, obviously. So, I haven't really played it. But, I actually filmed a whole Animal Crossing Pocket Camp video and then the file got corrupted and I lost it all and I was really upset and I couldn't be bothered to film it again. <laughs> so, I'll just show you my town and my van. So, my van is pink with two white stripes and then my town looks like this. I picked the cute theme. I didn't know whether to go for it. There's four, I think. Sporty, cool, cute and natural. And I picked cute because it was pink. But I was going to pick sporty. But either way, you can get stuff from each like theme, I guess. So yeah, I still got my Christmas tree. I'm not taking it down. I got my little tree with a swing. This little cutie asleep. Aw, look at my friends. So yeah, I love this game. I'm on level 29. And I'll put my ID below in case you want to add me. So I put Pocket Camp separate just so I'd actually like remember and click on it. And then in games, I have Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, which is just a card game. And then Marvel Future Fight is a Marvel fighting game. I 
showed a bit of like gameplay in my what's in my iPad video, I'll link below. But yeah, my name is Wonder Izzy, if you want to add me. And our alliance name is Odin's Left Eye. So if you play the game, feel free to message me and if you're good, we can add you, whatever. Pokemon Go, haven't played that in time, but we all know what Pokemon Go is. And then I have two temple runs because when you're on the tube and you have no signal and all these other games on my phone requires internet, you need a game, honey. And I haven't played Temple Run in ages. And then the Holy Bible app is the one for this widget down here. And I'll show you again. It looks like this. You can highlight things. I go on it a lot. And then in Money, I just have my Barclays app and my PayPal app. And that's it. Well, I have one more page, but that's the, um, that's the recording app I'm used to record this video. So yeah, and the Death Star in the background. So... That's everything I have on my phone. If you have any questions or anything, leave them below and I'll get back to you. But yeah, I have the, oh, I don't know if I said I had the Orchid Grey S8 Plus. I think I said that. And yeah, I love this phone. My battery's great. Um, I forgot the questions people asked me, but yeah, feel free to ask me anything. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions or comments and do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much. Yeah, if you have any video requests or whatever, leave them below. I think that's it. Or any cool apps that you have that I might like. Holla, let me know. I'm always down. I have memory, so I don't mind. Thanks for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video.